Hey guys, what's going on? Nervil here. Today I have the Razor Black Widow Ultimate for you guys to unbox. I'm going to hook it up, show you guys the colors and everything. It's going to be my, my pretty much just the first impressions. And uh, I'll see how it is. So, I already opened this before the video, so it's a little bit easier to get it out of the packaging. Let's throw that over to the side here. And how do we do this? Um, maybe we can take this out. Hopefully that's enough. Pretty good enough. Just drop something over here. Put this over here. What's this? I don't think that's anything. The plastic comes right off the top there, and there's the keyboard. I think that the razor manuals are below it. It's a nice, uh, nice cord here. Nice braided cord. Which is actually really good. Okay, let's see. How do we do this here? It's tied down here. So, we're going to break this open. Pull this cord out. Check out the rays and stuff. Let's throw this here on the ground. Okay, so for gamers by gamers, razorzone.com. Pretty sure that you guys have probably seen this before. Pretty uh, straightforward stuff. Is this how I open it? I don't know. It's my first. Uh, gonna have to do. It's my first razor product. So. And then we have the stickers from Razor, which they include in all their stuff. The product catalog with all their other products, the Black Widow certi Certificate of Authenticity, uh, Quick Start Guide, I don't see why anybody would need that, and, um, and the Master Guide. So I'm going to get this hooked up and then I will record it when it's all colorful and the LEDs are good. Okay, so now that we've got this keyboard hooked up, I uh, installed the drivers, I went to RazorSupport.com and I downloaded the 1.04 drivers. So everything seems to be working, this is the uh, program that, they, that it is, just so you can manage your macros and all that. So I wanted to manage a macro here, say I wanted this to um, open like Counter-Strike Source or something, then I could do that if I wanted the macro one key to open Counter-Strike Source, I could do that. Also this is the uh, function key, this is for the lights, that's one, two, three, and four is the uh, the lights that go on and off. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I've, I've typed for this with this about for uh, for about five minutes, and it seems to be pretty nice. The sounds are are very nice, but it's it's very loud. I'm just, I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna wake people up in my house. But um, there is a stealth edition. If you guys are looking for one that that is like this, but doesn't make as much noise. There's a stealth edition, but you can only buy it on their, their Razer website, so. And it's like $10 more, just so the keys are a little bit, a little bit less loud. My verdict on this keyboard after about uh, 15 minutes of having it, that's pretty good, but I mean, I can't say too much because I haven't had it for, for too long. But I mean, it does, it does seem very solid, and I'm very glad that I got this keyboard. I don't think about it, I can't think of any other keyboard that I'd rather have. So it's, it's been very nice, and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys later. Remember below. Alright guys, so I had to come back after a little bit of time of uh, playing playing video games with it and uh, typing with it, and this is uh, after about two or three hours of having the keyboard. I didn't think that the first 15 minutes was a good enough impression, so I, I had to come back. So uh, after two or three hours of using this keyboard, I have to say that it is probably the most solid keyboard that I've used yet. Uh, the keys, while they may sound really annoying on the video, or I've, I've watched videos before I, before I get this keyboard, and they did sound kind of annoying to me, like, People are always saying, oh, they sound so awesome, but to me, they, they honestly do sound kind of annoying. But when you're using them, they sound absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's something about it, just there's something about typing and you getting that feel and that sound, I mean, that just, uh, it just makes it awesome. So the keys are just great. They feel, they have a good texture on them. 
and you, you don't need this this light on if it annoys you, if it gets in your eyesight or something, and it uh, and it distracts you, then you can just turn it off easily, and you can also turn it on super easily. You don't need to go into the computer's uh, control panel or anything like that, into the razor control panel, you didn't do anything like that. It's really, really easy, and it's really accessible. What? So, I will say this keyboard is a solid keyboard. It is a gonna. It is one of the top end keyboards. It's, it's very expensive. There's there's a few keyboards that I know that may be a little more more expensive than it, but it is up there. Uh, yeah, it's worth like hundred and ten dollars Canadian, I think. But that was on sale. Now it's like hundred and thirty, I believe. So I mean, it is an expensive keyboard, but. If, this, if what you do is game and you like a, a nice keyboard to game and to type on, then pick up the, the Razer Black Widow because I do say it is an awesome keyboard. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my review slash first looks. I definitely re recommend this keyboard to anybody who uses it, for, who wants a keyboard for, for gaming. Because I will tell you that this actually did improve my, uh, improve my game quite a bit. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys later.